Well, good day, everybody. Here it is, 5.01 p.m., that's Pacific Standard Time, and we're broadcasting you to you from the Duncan Showroom in wonderful downtown Duncan. My name is Longevity John. I'm your host, and yet another fantastic broadcast coming your way. Now, we're getting ready for the 39 Days of July, which will be taking place in the Duncan Showroom, which will be on its own 39 Days of July channel. And lately, we've been able to highlight just some of the few acts, testing them out, making sure that they're ready and everyone's going, uh, that will be performing this year at our 39 Days of July. And this is a, a great little team that I was able to, I'm not sure if they were ready or how I figured it out, but somehow or other, they're back at it again. It's been sort of in a hiatus for a couple of years, but Mitch and the Baroness are willing to be back on the stage again. And they just did a bit of rehearsal there, getting ready for the show. And, Boy, am I ever glad I lit this fire. They're going to be taking you on a little journey. Uh, songs you'll remember, songs you might not know, but I think you're going to enjoy the show up all the way through. Take it away, Mitch. Maybe the Baroness will start out. Thank you, Long John, for having us. So this first song is one uh, called Just a Heart. It's by Hooray for the Riff Raff, and if you haven't heard of them, you should look them up because they're pretty amazing. Pete. This is Pete Mitchell. 
He's Mitch of Mitch and the Baroness. My name is Alyssa. The next one's an original called The One Thing. But appreciative audience. So the next one is a cover called Lord Won't You Help Me by Sarah Watkins. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you need anything from over the here? Oh, harpoon. So I learned something. They're not called harmonicas, they're called 
mouth harps. Yeah. It's taken me a long time to figure out these like little nuances, right? And Pete basically plays all of the instruments. Well, I tried it. You do a good job, Pete. I wouldn't be here without you. Do you need your capo? Every time yeah, we play a nice. set, we uh, we make a whole bunch of changes and stuff. So I got to keep track and. listening to me? <gasps> Our relationship is growing stale. No, you're sort of on the right track. There was something wacky going on in the middle. So this one is, is an original. Okay. Um, this was the first song Pete and I ever wrote together. Uh, we wrote it the second time we met each other. And he admits to thinking I was crazy. Yeah. I had a little studio, and, uh, and so <laughs> we met, and she come in, the, I think, the following weekend, and I had a piece of music I was playing, and she said, just keep on playing it over and over, and she kept on walking around the studio with this clipboard, and d this went on for a very long time. It wasn't and, that uh, long. And I was starting to think, hey, geez, did I, did I misread this <laughs> one? <laughs> but this was the result, and then I knew everything was okay after this. So. Thank you. 
that's not really part of it. I didn't write that part. I gotta say, Elisa, this is a uh, just it, it's blowing me away. How long ago did you guys first start performing together? I think it was nine years. Nine years ago, yeah. Nine years yeah. ago, and some songs have been written along the way, and then there's a bit of a bit of a hiatus. That just happens. Yeah. I know, Pete, you were over on the uh, on the mainland, or no, mainland, 
Bowen Island. And the mainland. And the mainland, yeah. I used to see pictures. Well, this is what I'm looking out my front uh, my front porch from. Yeah. My goodness, with heaven. But um, so it's been nine years. This was amazing. Uh, I'm glad you two found each other for performing, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you really do complement each other. Thanks, Pete. Yes. You'll have to tell them how we met, John. Hmm. Well, we time. met through theater, didn't we? No, we when? met when I came here and decided I wanted to learn how to sing. Oh, and I right. showed up, and I crashed a blues. Tuesday. It was a blues Tuesday. I thought it was an open mic. It and was not. And you thought it was open mic, and you came in. That's right. Yeah. And wow. And I sang for my first time. And, uh, yeah. It was and exciting. I've been blown away each and every time. I remember it being very encouraging to you. You were. I know. You and were I, half I'm the going to still be there. I get like I'm blown away. Thank you, John. It's, it's, it's really a wonderful thing that you possess, and I'm really glad to see you're back up with it again. And, mm -hmm. Pete, I'm glad to see you're back on the island again, too. Yeah, so it makes it easier back. for these two to perform. So we will be able to highlight them again this year at the 39 Days of July. You're on Canada Day, I know, at 2 yes. o'clock. Mm -hmm. I think Very it is. Very exciting. Oh, nice. And, uh, and maybe uh, another couple of slots. That I've been trying to figure out where to put you guys in. But uh, give us some more songs. I'd like to hear what you've got, so, got to offer. Thank you so much. This one is Need Some Love, and it's another original. We write a lot of heartbreak songs. One would think we haven't been very happy in our lives. Uh, do you have my amp back there? No. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. husband and I have been together for 30 years this year. Um, so that song is not written about my personal experience because uh, he's a pretty awesome guy. And boy, does he stick around. It, it, it is all about theater, isn't it's it? It's all about the theater. It, it's all yes. about the theater. Yeah, I like to, yeah. 
Yeah. By the way, uh, you have had a quite. How far back have you been working in theater? Oh, I went to university for theater the first time. So a while. Um, not quite 30 years, though. No, about 30 years. Probably as long as I've known my husband. I wonder if there's a correlation. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. How about you, John? I saw a picture of you from one time when you were on stage. Othello. Looking I, I, quite uh, young. Yeah, yeah. I was in 95. That's amazing. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. And then I got to play one for the chief and one flew over to Cuckoo's Nest no way. in 93. That's all due to the uh, Shawnigan players who, you know, yeah. just, it's a community theater and I don't know, they just sort of go around and pick people out of the, yeah. out of the community and say, you would be they good on stage, good. give it a try. Yeah, they're great. And um, if you had convinced me that I would have known all those words, I thought, in, first of all, in One Flew Over to Cuckoo's Nest, I thought, you know, juicy fruit, I can say that, right? But it turned out that he had the, uh, the chief had the most dialogue hmm. throughout the whole, in the play. And I never could have convinced me, but community theater is just so wonderful. And the whole concept mm -hmm. of theater, when he's doing uh, Italian, I couldn't believe that I could sit down and actually recite a whole play that I never thought I would even, you know, yeah. how did that happen? So it's very much fun. I mm -hmm. envy you for being in it for 30 years. I've seen a couple of the things you've been in, and boy, you can, you, you know how to be on stage. Well, thank you, John, as do you, I'm sure. But I haven't seen you act. Maybe that's something I need to see. Life is but a stage. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ain't that just like a man? I wrote this song for Pete a while ago when he was between loves. It's not true either. So. for Pete and then he just hmm come on really <laughs> anyway hi Sandy and Anthony hi Haley hi, Haley. Oh. hi Bill, Bill. Bill. oh that would have been a family member of my own no oh. oh I have no idea yeah. nice to meet you yeah. fun fun okay we're gonna do a cover oh how nice Hi, everyone. It's my family. Yeah. Can't let go. <laughs> Little Lucinda. So this is the 
this is one of those performers I uh, I think is remarkable, and I um, I don't want to envy people, but I admire. It's more of an admiration than an envy. But I have I, I have aspirations. Baby, one more time, don't make me sit all alone and cry Well, it's over, I know, but I can't let go I'm like a fish out of water, a cat in a tree You don't even want to talk to me Well, it's over, I know, but I can't let go You won't take me back when I come around Say sorry and he pulls me out, I got a big chance started writing a long time ago and I I don't actually really know how, like how to write music guitar is like a newer thing than even the singing is um, so I started writing this song and I had an idea of how it would sound and it has literally taken 10 years actually no I started writing the song when my kids were two and a half 14. and that no yeah and they're 16 now so 14 years ago I came up with this idea for these lyrics and then I it's taken me this long to figure out the music and Pete had a hand in it and my brother Tom uh, helped a bit with the music but this is what we've come up with and I'm gonna play along and I'm hopeful that you will forgive me for all the nasty messes I'm gonna make. Well, actually, we started this one out and we wrote music for it and, uh, and then uh, Alyssa rewrote it and it's just, it's just so much better. It, uh, it was the it was the right the right changes. It was beautiful. So, yeah. Well, thank you, Pete. It's one of my favorite songs. Now. <laughs> So blonde, face so raw, with 
sun and wind and tide She was pumping gas with a cigarette Living it all, not worried yet Your life won't amount to much Standing out there in the rain Smiling at folks, fumes and grain In her clothes, her skin and her me all together. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Dreadful. <clears throat> One of the reasons Pete thought I was crazy. Right there. Hmm. Graffiti Limbo. So this is another cover. A Michelle Shocked song that I have, uh, I've loved singing this one for, since I heard it. Which probably would have been like late in the 1980s. originally written by 
Michelle Schacht, um, following the arrest of a young black graffiti artist named Michael Stewart, who was arrested while he was writing graffiti uh, on the subway walls in New York City. And while he was in custody, while he was under arrest, and surrounded by 11 white transit cops, he was murdered. But they didn't have any evidence, they couldn't prosecute, so all the cops were found not guilty. And it was just one more dead black boy. And so right now, I used to sing this song and I used to think, well, this story isn't, you know, the story isn't the same. It's not the same as it was then. The story is not as relevant, but over the past couple of weeks we've seen that things have not changed just the way it is and so this song right now is just all that much more uh, poignant that we're still in that place where um, where white people get away with doing really horrible things you can have your little style war boys you can keep your little dance but those crazy writers don't stand a ghost of a chance and now it's color them cons Mayor Koch said call it a crime And now it's steer clear of the engine You're on a midnight special line Graffiti limbo Where do you go? Graffiti limbo Where there ain't no justice Graffiti limbo got a fun new toy. So this, he had an old black guitar that, that I called the Take Mine. That was not its name. And he traded it for this beautiful shiny beast. Ooh. It's a nice guitar, Pete. Okay, we're going to do uh, Right From The Start, which is another original. I usually like to dance to this one. So I'm going to try to sit still. It, help, it helps if we got our band with us too. So. Oh, a uh, shout out to uh, Michelle, uh, Michelle Leclerc. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Michelle. Happy birthday to you. I know they're having a party for you right now. And you're not well, there are a bunch you. of people that have been chatting online. It's hard for me to see the actual names, but there's a bunch of people, some from Victoria, from Duncan, Sean, and wherever. There's a bunch of people out there that are all watching and they're all chatting. Oh. So. Hi, Hi to them everybody. all. Thank Hi, you Hello. for them tuning in. Hi, my sister Nancy. I'm sure she's Hi, watching. Hi, Nancy. So. You let me know when you're ready. I may look soft, but I'm not. I may look cool, but I'm hot as chili, baby.
really miss Michelle in that song. Yeah, guy drives it. Yeah, it's a rockin' song. Okay. Do you want to do the shoe sales blues, Pete? It's an original. Hey, by the way, yeah. <clears throat> I was just going through that memory uh, a bit more intensely about when you first showed up. And I remember something that struck in my mind was you have two sons, right? I have a daughter and a son. A daughter and a son? They're all twins. Yeah. Or is it, you have brothers. Oh, I have brothers who are yeah. twins too. But you were saying to me, I guess it was about your children, you said that you were at a point in life where you were, you were trying to let your children know that you know, you're, you're teaching them how to reach out, how to step outside their comfort zone to to find out new parts of their life. And as you're explaining explaining that to them, you realized the best way to do that would be to show by example. Yeah. And that's why you came to the to the what turned out to be the Blues Tuesday, yeah. but the open mic was to, to, to get up and do that because you had always said you wanted to give it a try, so you did it. Mm -hmm. So uh, the reasoning behind that was for teaching the children, which it's always stuff, uh, stuck in my mind. And thank you for doing that. And boy, am I ever glad you took that that leap of faith. We also have to thank my sister, Shelly. Okay, let's uh, thank her. She, thank you, Shelly. <laughs> thank you, Shelly. She, uh, she, was, she was my champion. Yeah. She kind of still is. Well, now you got a bunch more. Yeah, yeah all champion thanks, guys. for you. Going to get all teary now. Oh, yeah, I know. It's cool. All right, let's switch it over to shoe let's sales because there's no crying on the song. Okay, good. Yeah.
trying to say is I made my point that day. It was a point. Surely I feel. The ending. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Pete. Okay. Another Lucinda Williams song coming up. So you'll notice that Pete does a lot more work than I do. No. But in little order to make up for that, I carry his guitars. So little, I'm, I'm like his rusty, rocker. We're both a little rusty. It's been a couple of years since we played together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We just start, we rehearsed like three times. Two weeks ago we started, <laughs> and it's been a few years. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. we're back. Got together last night and played. played. <laughs> Made a bunch of changes <laughs> along the way. Yep. <laughs> That's always mm. fun. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. His lovely wife fed us though. That was really nice. Talal, thank you. I think she's watching.
broken down Shack's engine part Could tell a lie But my heart wouldn't know Listen to the dogs Barking in the yard Car On a gravel road Child in the back seat About four or five years Looking out the window A little bit of dirt Six o'clock. Do we have time for one more? <gasps> Yay! Um, okay, what one do you want to do, Pete? Because we got, uh, we have Catfish Love, we have Like You, we have David, and we have Running Away with the Blues. And they're all my favorites. Okay. All right, Running Away with the Blues. That's a we haven't done original. this one in a bit. Yeah, yeah they're all originals. The whole streak of them. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't need that, but I need that. See, he even uses correct terminology. What harp do you need, Pete? Harp? Harp? No, it's not the harp <laughs> this time. Okay, good to know. <coughs> well, My bets are on it's C. It's the harp, but it's it is not the harp. A is it a C harp? Oh yeah, this is a pretty song. Yeah, this is another one, like this one. we wrote. This is one of the earlier ones we wrote. Pete thought it was going to be a blues song. That's right. He was wrong. <coughs>
you. That's a beautiful song. We missed out on the heart. Oh, Sorry, I buddy. Missed the spot yeah. We can do David. Are you ready? Okay, so this one is actually a love song. It's about my husband, whose name is not David. I wanted him to like travel incognito, but then I tell, I tell everyone it's about him anyway. So. He cannot escape me. Or can we keep playing? A couple more? Do we have one more? You got one more to do? Huh, yes. By the way, I want to give a special thanks out to my partner, Georgia, just oh. because she made my mask. You guys can't see it, but she made my, uh, my mask for me. And it's got this big green marijuana leaf right on the face. It's kind of nice. <laughs> just, uh, everyone out there can see it. It's kind of <laughs> Yay, Georgia. Thank you very much. She's making some for all of us. Custom made. <laughs> Amazing. She's loving it. I think we probably have a lot more things to thank oh, Georgia she, for. She's got rec I got records. <laughs> and the color orange, because that's his favorite color. Yay, Georgia. She's at Yay, home this Georgia. afternoon doing enough. I have a couple, one for Trevor and one for uh, for Paul Jutris and that. Yeah, it's fun. Pandemic fun, eh? Speaking hey. of pandemic fun, for those who might be watching, may not realize that up until uh, the pandemic, I had had a, a a half a beard that had gotten quite long over five years, and uh, I trimmed it uh, just uh, about uh, 
on Mother's Day to be exact. I trimmed it and really short, so it's a whole new me. But then I get to tell people that I actually moved it to the other side, you see, because people didn't see me for eight or nine weeks, so I just grew my beard on the other side and shaved the other side off. So no one really noticed the difference only on Mother's Day. But still, people to this, to this day don't know until I tell them. It's kind of fun. Pandemics, aren't they fun? They are fun, John. Programmed isolation. Yeah. Make the best out of life. Doing the best with what we can with what we got. I love the fact that you've kept the music coming oh, all this time. It's kind of like it fell in our lap. I was like, what are we supposed to do? Same with the 39 days of July. You know, our, our line on that one is full stream ahead. Nice. Right. That one fell in our laps, too. But music has to continue. That's the, the driving force between all the way along. Remember, they say that as the Titanic went down, they still had the, 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 yeah. the van was still playing, right? So music is the one thing that uh, transcends all anguish and pain, allows you mm -hmm. to escape for a while and go on the journey that's being performed, in this case, live for the, for the audience. So give us another song and we'll call it a day. Thank you very much for coming out, you guys. Thank you guys so much for having this us. Is, this is a treat. Boy, I know it. I'll let you know the date's coming up. Other than the Canada Day one at two, I have a couple other ones too. Thank you. This song is called Catfish Love.
sail away, sweetheart, you say, go on and sail away from me, because there's many more fish out in the Peter Mitchell, hey, by the, way. Hey, the guy who does all the things. <laughs> My name is Alyssa. We are Mitch and the Baroness, and we are ever so grateful. Thank you to Long John and to Tim for making this happen, and thank you to our audience. You be small, but you be mighty. Thank you. <laughs> and for those that are tuning in, remember that this is an archive show. I noticed one or two people came in late. That's okay. You can go back and watch from the very beginning because it is archived on YouTube, which means you can donate each and every time you watch it. And please do. <laughs> please Thank donate you. to this place. It's amazing. Well, we're still hanging in there because of the people yeah. that help us out. So thanks very much again for coming, you guys. And I'm uh, looking forward to the 39 days of July. And maybe if we get enough, maybe two or three shows, we could track those and maybe come up with an EP from your originals. That would be amazing. Wouldn't that be amazing? Because yeah, people should would. be able to take you home. Aw. That's On nice. vinyl. Of course. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Take care. Just keep me in.